Hi, my name is Matt Self. We're here at the Darlington School in Rome, Georgia, at the end of a wonderful national camp with the West Ham United International Academy. And I'm here interviewing Paul Heffer. Paul, how did you get started with West Ham? When I was a young man, um, 16 years of age, uh, I was scouted by a gentleman called Wally St. Pierre. Uh, took me up and I joined uh, West Ham as a, what would now be a scholar on an apprenticeship and went through the system. So if you could say I actually graduated, mm. like these boys want to graduate, and um, got into the first team after a few years with the youth side. Unfortunately for me, um, I got injured, but during that time I played alongside Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst, Martin Peters, who are well known for the World Cup. And uh, unfortunately, after I think it was 14 first team games, I did a serious knee injury at 19 years of age. And at 24, I was forced to retire. Did make some substitute appearances. And then um, I went into coaching straight away. And I was fortunate that um, Tony Carr was one of my youth players alongside me at West Ham. And Bobby Moore was at Southend United, which is where I lived. And he got me into the professional game again at Southend United for three years. I was successful bringing boys through there. Tony Carr obviously had seen me coach uh, at Southend and come across me when we played West Ham. And when I finished at Southend, he invited me around about 30 years ago to join him at West Ham. And since then, myself and Tony have been bringing through players like Rio Ferdinand, Joe Cole, Frank Lampard, Glenn Johnson, and still now producing players for the first team. And it's been very successful. What was the academy like when you played in it yourself? Very basic. Uh, training facilities were just a, a field. Uh, the changing rooms were wooden built and there was no sports facilities like the technical work you have now. We were just training, uh, actually lifting logs to keep us out. It was PE training right. from the army days and doing sit ups on benches and stuff like that. So it's moved on a lot since then. We'd run 12 miles of a morning. There's no warm ups, no cool downs. We were always told, don't drink any water, you'll get a stomach ache, which is totally different now. And we spent the whole day probably on a small little glass of orange juice. And it's amazing we survived. 